Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to day number 16 from TriHackMe's Advert of Cyber. So we're going to be talking about more of machine learning, and let's have some fun and jump into it and see what today's all about. All right, everyone. So today is day 16. So remember, can't capture this machine. So it's task 22, day number 16, machine learning. This here is the learning objectives that we're going to be learning about today. So pretty much about captures, I'm, ass I'm assuming. So we just have, I booted up my virtual machine and the split screen, here we go. And there's a lot of information here. I read it, it is a little confusing. I'm not gonna lie. So I had to read it a few times just to really try to comprehend. I haven't attempted it yet, but I wanted to get ahead of the game. So if we come all the way down here, and like I said, it's it's a lot of a lot of stuff. More about machine learning, learn about so fully connecting our layers, classifications, training on CNN. So blah blah blah. So here is where is really important. And I was checking out the Discord, and people were saying that as well. So people, you know, whatever it is, what it is. So so steps one through four are already done for you, right? So as it says here, steps one through four are quite taxing. So they've already been completed for you. I'm not sure what that really, I know what it means, but I'm not sure how taxing it means. But, you know, here's a quick little recap. So what you need to do, I guess we have to do these steps here, right? So let's go ahead and open up a terminal, All right. So let's go ahead and bring this over here. Whoops, not that far. And let's just make this a little bigger. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Can I make this bigger? No, I can't use, all right, so let me just hit view zoom in i tried that but didn't work all right so let's just go ahead and copy this and just paste it oh, i can't i have to use the here we go boom all right so i guess in a virtual machine you have to do that on your regular machine you probably don't have to do that but let's go ahead and hit enter here so here is our container id right as we can see here. So the next one we're gonna do is Docker PS. So we can just do that really quick, Docker PS, which is for processes. And we can see the processor there, okay? So the next command, let's go ahead and execute this. Let's go ahead and copy this really quick. And let's go ahead and paste this in. Oh, paste it in here. All right, so I wanna remove this because what I want to do here, uh, let's see if I can't, can I copy this? Oh, ah, crap, I think I messed that up. All right, let's try this again. Let's just copy this, bring this over to the clipboard, and then just bring this in and paste it here. And then we can take out here, because we have to put the container ID, which we got right here, right? So let's copy this. Place it here, hit enter, right? Hit enter, and now we are inside. Okay, perfect. Now we can do CD to the o OCR. Perfect, here we go. So we're balling. So let's go ahead and open up a, <clears throat> a uh, browser here and see if we can get to the HQ admin page. So it is pretty much looks like, you know, like the, uh, if you're trying to log in or, or authenticate something, it gives you the capture. So it shows you that you're a human being, that you are who you say you are. So for example, let's just put like, I don't know, Pat, Pat is cool. And then for the capture, I don't know, whatever. Let's see. Okay, so we can see incorrect capture, valid. All right, so let's come back and we'll come back to that shortly. Let's get back to here. Let's keep going down. <clears throat> so if we come down, <clears throat> we can curl that. I'm not sure what this is gonna do. So let's just give it a jingle. All right, all right. So it's pretty much, oh, let's see. Right, can I paste it? All right, so probably because we're inside of that Docker container. So that's fine with me. So let's just keep going down. So as you can see, we need to, skip a few, right? Gather, uh, label, train. So pretty much five and six is what we have to do. So let's go down here. Uh, do, do, do. One, two, three, 
All right, so it looks like we have to get here to the hosting. All right, so it looks like everything else is done for us. All right, so now since we are here, we can do an LS. We can see model, which it says right here, right? So let's CD to model. All right, let's do an LS now. We can see, okay, export a model. Perfect. So let's go ahead and copy. Let's go ahead and do this step here. Paste. All right. And paste it here. Hit enter and see what we got. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and type exit. Right, that's what it's saying. And then let's do Docker. PS. Perfect. All right, cool deal. So now we can do Docker kill. Right, so let's do Docker kill and then the container number. Right, so let me try to make this bigger. There we go. All right, so the container ID. Right, so let's do Docker. E O K E R, and then kill, and then our, in my case, this is going to be mine, I am sure. All right, so let's hit enter here, bada bing, good to go. And let's go ahead and just run this fancy, fancy stuff here. And let's go ahead and paste that into here. Okay. And then here we go. So now we can go ahead and paste that here, hit enter. And hopefully we get good news shortly. So this will start the new host. You know, let it do its thing. All right, so, so we'll let that do its thing. And now you're finally ready to help Ms. Kitty remain access, uh, regain access to the HQ portal. All right, so it looks like we just come down here and we can CD. Let's open up another terminal. And let's CD to desktop. LS, we can see that there's a brute forcer. So let's just copy this how it is and let's just run it. This so let me actually cd dot dot. Let me go back to where I was just so you guys can follow along just how I'm doing it. Crap, I copied that. Let's go ahead and copy this again. Paste. Okay, perfect. And now let's go ahead and paste this bad boy here and hit enter and let it do its uh fancy thing. So this is probably going to try to run through and brute force. All right, perfect. So now we have to come down and answer these questions. Oh, we got to, we see something here. Let's go back here. And we see a username access granted. So admin is the password. I mean, admin is a user and then really not going to guess this is the password. So let's go ahead and just come back here. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's come back to here and just put admin. And then the password is what we just copied. Okay, and then the capture, uh, is that 747946 in my case? No. All right, let's try it again. All right, so it's admin. I want to make sure my paste is pasting this right thing. Okay, it is perfect. Just want to make sure it's pasting the correct password. All right, so that's pasted in. Now it's 03966. 03966, sign in. Woohoo, we have a flag. Perfect. All right, so it looks like the flag is down here. So let's go ahead and get that flag. And then we can start answering these questions. All right, so let's go ahead and get that. Paste that in here. Boom. I know it's a little backwards, but we got it. All right. So now let's go ahead and what is the process of training neutral network is taking care of the CNN? That's the future extension or extraction, I think. Let me come back up. I think it was a future extraction. You can find all these answers literally when you read this. Uh, let's just come up in future extractions. You know, yep, exactly because that's what the CNN, which is used. All right, so let's see, hopefully that's it. Um, let's go ahead and hit paste here. All right, perfect. Uh, what is the name of the process used in the CNN extraction? Okay, it's extracted. Okay, so that's gonna be, let's go ahead and go up, extract. Uh, do, 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 do. Extraction, so it's gonna be 
elevation. All right, let's copy this. Paste this here. Oops, not there. Paste that here. Hit enter. All right, so this next one, what is the name of the process used to proceed future, futures down? Futures down, let's see. Let's go back up and just review futures down. Da, 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 da. No, it's not going to be that. No, conversion, no. Uh, future. Futures. Uh, our performing job. Yeah, yep. I think it's pulling. Let's give that a shot. If I did read this before, I just have to, I'm just trying to remember. All right, so what off the shelf C CNN did the, did we use for training options? OCF, uh, let me check. I have no idea. Uh, let's go up, let's go up, let's go up, 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 up. Uh, so is it the attention or C? Might be this. Let's see if that's right, because it has ORC. So that's what I like about. Um, yep, cool deal. So what is the password that McGritty set on the all right? So that's the uh do, 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 let's go back to here. Oh, I think no, I don't have that in my paste anymore. So let's come back to the terminal. Oh, not that. Uh, let's minimize this thing. What the hell is that thing? Minimize X out of here. Here we go. Really not going to guess this. Copy this and then paste it. And then paste it here. And it looks like we did today's challenge. So thank you so much for viewing. That was a little tricky. You had to read it a few times for to really understand it. So kudos to Try Hack Me. Thank you so much for putting on this event and see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.